Hello dear students, in this session we will learn what is radioactive decay law and we will derive n is equal to n naught into e to the power minus lambda t. Decay law says that the rate of disintegration of radioactive substance is directly proportional to the number of radioactive atoms present in that sample at that moment. Means, if the number of radioactive atoms are more, then the rate of disintegration is more. This is, this is what it means. Okay. The rate of disintegration of radioactive substance at any instant is directly proportional to the number of atoms present in the substance at that instant. Now, we will do the derivation. Okay. Let n naught be the number of atoms present in the sample at t is equal to 0. So, what does radioactive decay law says? Rate of disintegration, what is rate of disintegration? Rate of disintegration is equal to d n by d t is directly proportional to number of atoms present in the sample at that moment. Okay. D n by d t is directly proportional to n. So, this is the mathematical form of radioactive decay law. Now, what we will do? We will remove this proportionality constant, we will write d n by d t is equal to minus lambda into n. Okay. So, we will see what is lambda and why we have put minus symbol. Okay. Here lambda we call it as we call lambda as d k constant, d k constant okay. and this negative symbol, okay, this negative symbol indicates that n is decreasing, okay, n is decreasing. So, that is why we have put this minus symbol. Now, we will uh, uh, rearrange this equation a little bit. So, what happens? d n by n, d n by n is equal to minus minus lambda into d t. Now, we will differentiate, we will integrate this e equation on both sides, okay. integrating on both sides, integrating on both sides of the equation, integrating on both sides what happens? Integration of 1 by n with respect to n is log n. Okay. So, log n okay, to the base e is equal to integration of minus lambda with respect to t is minus lambda t okay, minus lambda t plus c minus lambda t plus c because the limits are not there, but we know that at t is equal to 0 okay, the number of atoms okay, uh, n equal to n naught. Okay. We have to find the value of c here now. So, what to do at t is equal to 0 okay, at t is equal to 0 n becomes n naught correct now log n naught to the base e is equal to here t is equal to 0 this term vanishes. Okay. So, what happens c log n naught will be equal to c. Now, this value of c we are going to substitute here. Okay. So, what happens log log n to the base e is equal to minus lambda t plus c correct now minus lambda t plus c. What is the value of c log n naught? Okay. log log n naught to the base e. So, this uh, will come to LHS so, what happens log n to the base e minus log n naught to the base e is equal to minus lambda t or we know that log a minus log b equal to log a by b uh, that will be equal to log log n divided by n naught okay, to the base e is equal to minus lambda t. Now, we know that log and exponentials, exponential are inverse functions. When a logarithmic function goes to goes from LHS to RHS, it will become exponential function. So, what happens log you bring it to RHS. So, it will become exponential function n by n naught is equal to e to the power minus lambda t or on rearranging n is equal to n naught into e to the power minus lambda t. Thank you very much.